Hey guys, it's Mrs. Kleinley with this week's First Chapter Friday. This week, I'm super excited to be talking to you about one of my very favorite books, Lafcadio, The Lion Who Shot Back by Shel Silverstein. This is definitely one of those oldie book goodies. This is definitely not a new book. Usually I try to focus on newer books for First Chapter Fridays. This book celebrated, I think it was its 50th anniversary a couple of years ago. So it's definitely not a new book, but it's one of those classics that kids still just love so much today. So I really really don't think this book needs too much of an introduction. I do want to share with you, it may look familiar to you, the author's name may be familiar to you, because we have many, many, many of Shel Silverstein's books in our Palmer Library. I just did a quick search here to kind of show you. Several of his covers have that very simple black and white um, design to it. A lot of his books are found in our poetry section, which is in nonfiction under 811, which is where you see a lot of these uh, Runny Babbitt, Where the Sidewalk Ends, Falling Up. And then he has several other more fiction stories that can be found in our Everybody section. So I'm going to just get right into it because quite frankly, I really don't think it needs an introduction. So here we go. Chapter one. Once there was a young lion and his name was, well, I don't really know what his name was because he lived in the jungle with a lot of other lions. And if he did have a name, it certainly wasn't a name like Joe or Ernie or anything like that. No, it was more of a lion name, like, hmm, like maybe or 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 well, anyway, he had a name like that. And he lived in the jungle with the other lions and he did the usual lion things like jumping and playing in the grass and swimming in the river and eating rabbits and chasing other lions and sleeping in the sun. And he was very happy. Well, then one day, I believe it was a Thursday after all the lions had eaten a good lunch and were sleeping in the sun, snoring lion snores, and the sky was blue and the birds were going caw, caw, and the grass was blowing in the breeze and it was quiet and wonderful and suddenly, lum! There was such a loud sound. All the lions woke up fast and jumped straight up in the air and they started to run lickety split, lickety clip or clippity clop or clippity clop or it was, is that the way horses run? Well, they ran. Whatever the way run, lions run. I don't know. Maybe even pivoty pap. Anyway, they all ran. They all ran away. Well, almost all. There was one lion that did not run and that is the one I'm going to tell you a story about. This one lion, he just sat up and blinked and winked in the sun and stretched his arms. Well, maybe he stretched his paws and rubbed the sleep out of his eyes. And he said, hey, why is everybody running? And an old lion who was running by said, run, kid, run, 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 run. The hunters are coming. Hunters? Hunters? What are hunters? said the young lion, still blinking in the sun. Look, said the old lion, you better stop asking so many questions and just run if you know what's good for you. So the young lion got up and stretched and began to run with the other lions, pivoty pap, or was it a clippity clop? I think they have all we've gone through all this before. And after he had run for a while, he stopped and looked back. Hunters? He said to himself, I wonder what hunters are. And he said the name hunters over and over to himself. Hunters, hunters. And you know, he liked the sound of the name hunters. You know the way some people like the sound of words like Tuscaloosa or tapioca. He liked the sound of the word hunters. So he let all the other lions run ahead and he stopped and hid in the tall grass. And as soon as he could see the hunters coming and they all stood on their hind feet and they all wore nice little red caps and they all carried funny sticks that made loud noises. And the young lion liked their looks. Yes, he just liked their looks. So when a nice hunter with green eyes and one tooth missing in the front passed by the tall grass with his funny red cap that had some egg salad on it, by the way, the young lion stood up. Hi, hunter, he said. 
Good heavens, cried the hunter, a ferocious lion, a dangerous lion, a roaring, bloodthirsty, man-eating lion. I'm not a man-eating lion, said the young lion. I eat rabbits and blackberries. No excuses, said the hunter. I'm going to shoot you. But I give up, said the young lion, and he put his paws in the air. So I'm going to leave you there. I just absolutely adore this book. Definitely an oldie but goodie. It is funny. Um, there are parts that are really, I think, going to change your views on animals and um, captivity and circuses and things like that. It is found in our fiction section, specifically in our animal section um, under SIL for Silverstein. I hope you enjoy. Happy reading.